journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I've been asked by one of our ardent listeners to take a look at uh, Apple. Uh, let's try that again. Eli Lilly, uh, this is going back uh, a year. I'm just going to draw in the, the big A, B, C, D to see how it worked uh, on the upside. Uh, it measured to uh, 961, and the high was 966, so that's no good uh, didn't get hit I guess exactly it went five dollars higher but uh, what's interesting you notice after the market broke you see this little 382 retracement right here that's that's the kind you want to wait for folks there's a, the perfect 382 I believe it is let's just double check for kicks and giggles drive it down right here and there it is right there so here's what's happened recently we had the bad news come out on that day it was way down and rallied almost back well it did rally back to the 382 of the whole move that day then went down tested again came up and hit it again there's major resistance and now the last couple of days it's coming off quite a bit okay so uh, I, I would do looking at this i can't sell it in here because that's 60 dollars under you know, well, no, not fifty dollars under where the high was. So, what I'd be watching for is to go down to a smaller time frame, and uh, there's your. Well, you can see today, there, there was your, there was your action uh, um, over. Yeah, today you can see it gap down today. There was your really good place to do it yesterday if you'd had a chance. There was the best place to do it right there, but you know, it was not. We didn't get this till just now. But there was your 382, your stop would go above your 618. Now it's down into some pretty good support. What I would do is watch for a 382 retracement of this range right here, okay? We're just going to take this in. No matter where the bottom is, don't worry about us today, tomorrow, the next. It doesn't make any difference. Just adjust this. As it goes down, you make the change. Right now, the 382 is back where the gap is. I'd be a seller at 814 with a stop here above 830. Okay, now let's get back to something that's really exciting. Uh, over the years, uh, I've known John Jameson for quite a while. I've never traded uh, Bitcoin at all, but he is a master of this stuff. Let me get this out of the way, and I want to share with you the chart that I printed up here this morning. And it is right – whoa, whoa, Billy Ray, where are you? Oh, my goodness, what happened to it? Is this it? No, what happened? That's the chart, but where is the – I did one with all – there it is. Hello, operator. Let's get up here. Okay, here's what I did. I had this printed out, that same chart. Here's – now, remember, uh, those of you uh, – in 2017, John was recommending Bitcoin when it was about um, $3,000. It went up to 20000 and then he said it'll come back to 3,000 one more time, which it did, and now it's just hit 91,000. The 1.618 on this, folks, do it yourself if you want to do it. You just B plus C minus A, 1.6 expansion, came in at 91,100 and uh, 91,140. And the high was 91,480 or something like that. Now it's trading at 88,000. Now you see this chart right here, folks? This is how I used to do this. You see, I'm going to bring up here and show you these two proportional dividers that I have. These were given to me by my mentor, John Hill. And what they do is they measure automatically. Uh, as you look at this, you'll see <coughs> this measures uh, 1.618. This measures 0.618. So that's how we used to do this back in the old days. We had to do this by hand long before we had all these charts. Well, I've had this forever. I had to use it for the first time. It had dust all over it because it's hidden here on my desk. Well, not much dust, dust, just a tiny bit. But uh, it was really funny that I had used it after. It's been 
well, it's been at least 20 years since I picked that up and used it, but that still works. It's still using the same thing. Okay, now let's get back to look at some of the other things that we're watching here today. We have been short corn for quite a while, and the corn reached its price objective today. We sold it uh, on Friday, last Friday, uh, during the live trading session, and we said it should come down to 421. We sold it at 34, so that was a very nice profit. We had another one. I want to show you the good, and the good, bad, and the ugly, but if you remember yesterday, we were looking to buy soybean oil, and I wanted to show you that because – this is we'll get the daily up and you'll be able to see because you have to you have to realize it's not how much money you make it's how much money you lose that you don't lose so here was a level right here at 45 okay now we, we bought that and it worked really nicely let's get this up here you'll see we bought it right here at 45 and it rallied all the way up to uh, I think that's it yeah 45 and it rallied all the way up to 4580 which is a $400 profit. And I said in the video last night, I said, put your stop at break even. And you can see that went down lower and made a break even, you know, made, made the trade a break even. And that's all of what we're doing. You don't know which trades are going to win. You don't know which trades you're going to use. You got to do the darn things. Keep your fingers crossed and hope for the best. And, uh, Praying doesn't work too much. It works for a lot of other things, but not in trading. Praying and hoping in trading is not good. You're responsible for what you have to do. Now, I wanted to show you something here. This is this is the Bitcoin ETF. Okay, I'm going to bring this up here and show you. It's called iBit. There's where it was last year. There's the ABCD, this huge gap. You can see the high up here. It's backing off a little bit, but this is a monster gap. And most of these gaps down here haven't been filled, but all these others have this uh, but you can see most of these gaps will be filled. So this will be filled. But how, how do I know? But this is a beautiful 1.618 on Bitcoin. Watch it, folks. 91,000 and change was the high. The last I saw was uh, 88,000 or something like that. Because if the stock market does roll over, it's going to affect Bitcoin and, and just about uh, everything else. And uh, we'll find out how that uh, ends up uh, over time. Okay, now we covered that. And now the next one we want to look at here is the uh, – hold on. Let me get this up here. Uh, in the British pound. Okay, now the British pound, if you remember, we covered all of our short positions down in here at this 127.90 uh, level. And now what we're doing now, it went down, made a lower low. We're back up to about a – you know, close to a point off of where we were. But that's okay, folks. If you just look at this on a little interday basis, you can see the ABCD pattern here. Go back and look to see – the last rally high was right back here. Where does it go to exactly 618? I mean, that's a ideal place. Now, if you went back short again, your net loss on this, or you had only lost about 80 pips of the whole move. But folks, we made 17 handles on that. We sold that. We sold that up here at the 1.618 expansion and 786 up there at 134.10. And look where we are now. And I think we're going to be heading down, which we thought. And I, I made a mistake getting out of it, but I make lots of mistakes. That's where we're going to go, folks, is right down here to about 123, 122. But they'll get, a, they'll probably get another chance to uh, get in and and uh, uh, you know get short again. That's what I'm watching for, is because I hate doing that. But watch this number here. Off of the last few days, we could easily make a rally back to. Uh, almost where we got in again and that's where I would I would sell it that's almost exactly where we got out so I'd get I'd get back in here at 12776 okay that's what I'd be doing all right we're going to take a break 8779276648 Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. 
an amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, folks, this is something that's fun to trade. It's natural gas. The margin's only 2,800. We follow it uh, quite a bit. Here's where we had the big gap up over the news. I don't know, remember what it was. It was some kind of a deal done by some countries, but I, I don't follow fundamentals, so I don't know. Where we're sitting right now is just, oh, I got this drawn wrong. This is, hold on, front, shut the front door and raise the rent. Yeah, there it is right there at 80, basically 83. Yeah. It's trading at 82 right now. That's the 382 retracement. But last night in the video, because we made a slightly high up in here, higher high up in here, what I was doing, I wanted to go down and I'll show you. I go down to a 13 minute chart and you'll, well, uh, let's just move it. I think I did the uh, eight minute. Let's just think. I'm pretty sure we did. Yep, that's what we did. I said, watch, because watch for this 382 retracement here and you'll see. That came in right about here. And then we went below it. We went, but look, after we went below it here, look at the rally that we had here, folks. This little, this is only a, a half hour rally. And that went exactly to the 382. And then, boy, down she went. She just broke like a rock, came all the way down. Now it's dropping. Let's just look at it to see where we are off of this last high. Because you can see as we're coming down really strong, this is where the 382 comes in. Uh, but more than anything else and so you go back to look at that last high right here and where does it stop exactly at the 382 you got to learn to do these 382 folks because someday the stock market might be in a bear market and that's where the fans will uh, really start to rock and roll and you'll uh, they'll not have much idea what's going on and that'll help you to tell you where you are going on now someone's asked for me to talk about the gold market because we've had a big uh, move down uh, remember, it was just about, oh, let me see what day that was. It was about a month ago, as I recall, 
we were watching this on this four hour chart. Remember this 1.618 up here at 28.01? The high was 28.0180. There was your first 382. There was your second 382. And since that time, we've been dropping and dropping and dropping. We've come down. Uh, you know, considerable amount from these last levels. But uh, this is the first time now we've had a pretty good rally. We've had a $35 rally today, which is the harmonic number in the gold. So all we're going to do now is we're going to move over to the hourly chart. I just want to well, quickly for the hourly to show you the rally because there's there's the rally that we're having right now in the gold market. We're just going to see what it did off the last high. Well, I got to do it back to the other high. Hold on to make sure I... I it, this high is higher than that high, so that's the one I have to use, and you can see that's way back here. So the only other one that you have that's in here that could be any good, it doesn't really help very much, but ah, this is it. See, this one goes higher than that one, so that tells you where the 382 should come in. I can see we went a little above it by just a tad where we went to the 50% level, and uh, now we're going to see uh, what happens here on the way down. But here's what I was looking at this morning, because I, I like short-term stuff that gives you opportunities to buy and sell. But here was early in the morning. You can see here I had this stuff as I was getting ready to watch it, because remember, folks, this is a 40. That's Wow. It went 40. How many did it rally? $35? 36? My gosh, it did. It, it Wow. It got all the way up to here, but look look at these rallies. So after the after the bottom is in, okay, there's your first three eight two. It misses the bottom by uh, two dollars. No, not even two dollars. One dollar misses. This low is fifty five. This is fifty five four, and then it just just keeps going up. Now we have a pretty pretty big sell off right here, and so you want to go back and see. Uh, what the next level was for the for the next 382 because that will sometimes tell you exactly where you want to be. It doesn't even come back to any 382 after that level. All it does here is just back off. Well, this, this, this you could use this. See, this comes down for quite a while, and you can check to see what the 382 is on this one. And you'll put, oh, that's the one you want to use because that gets you to your high up here at your 1.618 level. In other words, this is the... A, B, C, D, that counts to where you want to be. Let me show it to you so you can see it real easy. There's your A, B, C, D. That measures up here to 276. And if you do the other one right here, which is right behind it, that's going to get you up to the promised land, which is 1.618 at 2580. High was 2582. Now you had a little bit of a rally in here, so we should start a correction, which we've already started a little bit. So that's the goal, folks. This gold market's in flat, big trouble. When you see a bar like this, this is telling you that something's wrong. Now, just because the market comes down uh, $260 in one, two, three weeks, it can still have vicious rallies. Like today, almost uh, 37. Oh, that's right, 40. Yeah, it did. Uh, the harmonic number in gold is 36. The rally was 38. So uh, spot on, telling us getting ready to back up a little bit. All right. Let's move on here to the crude oil. As we look at the crude oil here this morning, hold on with me one second here. I want to, uh, you see here what we were waiting for in the crude this morning was for the market to get up to this level right up in here. And we did not get anywhere near that ABCD, but we did make a higher high. So what we want to do is what, what you should do. When you make that higher high and take this out, you've got to go back to the last level to see what the next rally high would have been so there's your rally high right back here oh my gosh johnny get your little placard out i think we hit a spot 382 this morning and there it is right there there's your 382 off of that high right there doesn't make this but it makes the 382 and that is a thousand bucks folks uh, already this morning if you would have been looking at that one okay now I had a couple questions here this morning about some stocks that are out there that we always watch. Now, I don't know much about stocks. That's the understatement of the year. I don't know anything about stocks, but we're going to take a look at them. I know they're the same ones we always look at, but we have to look at them because these are our trusted callers that come in, and we want to see what we have. Now, here's uh, Tesla. It's uh, coming down now a couple days. It's actually dropped about 50 bucks off the high. But we'll quickly look at this here on a short-term basis. We'll just go down over the last few days and see if there was any 382 that would have been fun to trade. So uh, I can see here. 
<clears throat> oh, this is this is one here from the last. There's the high on the 11th. Okay, there's your first retracement high. You make an A, B, C, D to the downside right here. And then we have a really sharp rally. This is where it gaps up in the morning. And the 382 on this is going to be a little lower, but it's going to be right at the exact 61% rate. And see, you gap here. You go up, you stop at the 618. There's your easier one this is the next day. See, because you, you made a lower low, so you've got to recalculate the 382. So you take it and you draw the 382 off of this one, and that brings you to uh, this one right here. It doesn't quite make the 382 a little trouble, but then it just heads down. The next support on Tesla is going to be pretty easy to look at because we have an ABCD, and as you can see on the bottom of the page here, there it is. There's your 1.618. It's down another $25, and we'll just mark that in. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right here, and because, uh, you know, uh, you have to remember geometry, excuse me, Mathematics, these are the numbers, precedes geometry. These are the patterns. So there's your target right down here. Now, to get to that target, the only way you can do that is to look and measure your CD leg as 127. And if you put the 127 in, where does it take you? Within $2 of the exact low. So we'll be checking this out over the few days here to see how it handles, okay? So let's take a break here. 877. Mind two seven six six four eight. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs.
Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, this is a chart from a dear friend who uh, was a student of mine 20-some years ago. He came to Tucson uh, from across the pond and uh, was supposed to come for two days. He ended up, ended up staying 10 days, I think, and uh, it was the most exciting time, he said, of his whole life. And he had spent, oh, my God, hundreds of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars on education with W.D. Gann and astrology stuff. But... Uh, he basically got down to, you know, pattern recognition, swing trading. This is his uh, – he's given me this a long time ago. Uh, you'll see his final target on the S&P was at 600. That was the S&P cash. If you remember, we were watching that yesterday. But uh, it shows you the relationships between these swings and how they all fit together. That's why we're – you can imagine where we are here. What what happened? This happens to be a COVID right here, folks. This was a COVID move, and then from then we've you know come up and made new highs. But if you'll remember yesterday while we were on the air, let's just get this up here so we can quickly review what we were doing. We'll get up here and take a look at that S and P S P Y from yesterday, and we'll see how that worked out. Well, we I believe it worked out because I was watching it pretty closely. We were looking at it, I believe, on a smaller time frame. Uh, I think that's what we were watching. Yeah, that's what we were watching. There it is right here. Okay, here's where we were yesterday when we were on the show. Move this over right here. There's where we were. Okay, now as you can see, we've made an A, B, C, D pattern right there. And that remember, this was the high, 600.02. That was his target, 600.02. And now you can see what we've just done here is we just completed this Gartley right here. Uh, I believe it is. I think it knows a little bit more to go. Let's move this here from this ABCD brings you down to uh, this. Oh, we're, all, we're pretty close. So uh, down about another uh, few points, it should get right there to it. But this was the Gartley we were watching yesterday uh, on the air. And you'll see there's your ABCD, and it comes right up to the old 786 goes a tiny bit above it by just a hair or two, and now it's come down. Now, what you want to do, just watch it for kicks and giggles here, okay? If this is a major top, and it might be, we've had a pretty good break to the downside. So we're having a rally right now. Well, actually, it's not much of a rally. Well, it is because this is a uh, this is the cash market. So the S&Ps rallied about 20 points. So you want to see what the 382 is going to be off of this high right here. And that comes in here at 596. So that's what you want to be watching on this cash market. And what we'll do here is we'll watch this kind of carefully because it's an important number. And what we're going to do is to put our limit minder in. So if it gets hit on tomorrow's show, we want to see what it did and how it's going to work. All right. So that's the number we're watching here uh, in the S&P. Now, uh, this morning when we broke down, you'll see from the high here to the low, where did we come to? Uh, exactly 382 right here and then we have the the big move down that's that's what you want to be watching for from high to low there you says there's what you want to be watching okay i hope that helps get this out of the way here for just a minute here and uh hold on oh question came up about the natural gas because we were talking about that. Hold on, let's get that hourly chart up again. Could I buy the natural gas at 283? Yes, you could, but the problem is, you see now, it's already below it by a dollar. Now, that's not very much, but you know, when you're trading this, you don't want to risk very much. If you're going to buy it at 283 or 282.3, so it's out a dollar right now, okay? You have to decide what you want to risk. Now, this gap down here is at 276. For me, that's way too much to way too much to risk. So what I would do is I would look at this on a little bit smaller time frame, just to, just to you know, massage your uh, e uh, exits or, so you can see where you are. Aha, there's what I want to show you. You want to see what the 1.27 is on the downside because that's where your stop would be. Let's get this up here. 
right there. Okay. See, this is most probably where it's going to go now. So once we, oh, gee, yes, absolutely. Yeah, th this is what's happened here. We had the, this rallied an hour, folks. Watch this from your high. There's your 382 right there, right there. And then once it went back below it, it's telling you the ABCD is going to be way down here at 275. Okay. So not not a not a good trade that's what i was trying to show you this morning on that because that's the same thing that happened with soybean oil it looked like it was going to be really good and then it didn't and then you just go the other way and you know you don't necessarily have to go the other way but if you do it could be profitable uh, both ways and that's the real key to look at now we've been asked to take a look at hold on one th united airlines i haven't looked at this stock in so long i don't even know i know it was up for quite a while here uh, oh, I've got to do the daily because I don't have intraday data on stocks. Wow, this is still going up. My goodness. Look at this. United Airlines. They never made any money. And look at it now. Wow. This is one of these things. It's just uh, hard to figure. Let's look at the weekly. on. Wow, that's a huge move. Holy moly. They must be doing pretty good. Oh, there's where the 786 came in here with all this, you know, move like this. This is when the earnings came out and it gapped above that. But my goodness, we're almost back at new highs in United Airlines. And that makes the transportation index uh, really strong. So anyway, that's you catch one of these, it's uh, pretty good. There was your target. And as you can see, it went up and went through it like it didn't even exist. That's why you, you have to figure out what your stop is going to be. And remember, folks, ABCDs work really good most of the time, but when you have really wide ranging bars like this and gaps on the chart, you have to make adjustments for that because that's how these things work. I mean, you just got to, you know, make certain adjustments. I, I hadn't even realized that this thing was still going up and it's up. But this is a weekly chart. How many days in a row has it been up? My goodness, it looks like forever. Well, lift another gap here. On the, oh, this was the election night. It gapped up on the election night. So I wouldn't touch that one with a 10-foot with a pole. It doesn't give you any 382s in here at all to be a buyer. So somebody in that company knew that earnings were going to be pretty good, I suppose. But I don't know. All right. Someone's asked me to take a look at the euro. We'll come up here. Uh, I have two questions. First was the euro, and second one was the yen. And since we're on with the yen, we want to watch it because I believe we came up to some pretty good resistance up here. That's natural gas. Let me get this out of the way here. Here is your Japanese yen right here. And guess what we just did here recently is we just made an ABCD here. Oh, it's way up in this area. Oh, this is really good. Hold on. Move this over just a little bit so we can see that 1.618 expansion right here. That comes in 155.67. There's where we are now. So we're going to look at just November, okay? So here's November. Here was the election. Everybody was excited. Then it backed off a little bit. And then we've had this run to where we're going. So we're going to follow this just like we would if we were trading it. The first move back is going to come down. Now, we don't know that it's going to stop at the 618 or 786, but it stops there for a little bit, and there's where the real, real bottom is. And then we'll be right back and finish this yen because this is a, this is a, could be good education. Haven't traded in in a long time. Well, we had a good run in it a couple months month or so ago, but we'll see what happens next. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. 
All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're going to go back into the history books. You remember back here in July, this was July 17th, we were making this big butterfly pattern up in here, and we recommended it would be a pretty good spot to uh, go short the uh, dollar versus the yen, and it had this big move down, and then it had the rally back. That rally was where we really got involved heavily, and that was right at the 382, just spot on right there, and we covered it all the way down to the bottom, if you'll remember, there was your A, B, C, D, and you'll notice here what it did here on the bottom. You just flip this around. You see what this is? This is an upside-down version. There's a butterfly top. There's a butterfly bottom. And then you have the A, B, C, Ds going up. Here's where we are now. So what we're going to do now is to go back to that 60-minute chart and look at it real closely here. And here's where we were. So we know that we have an A, B, C, D form. And we're just going to draw it in. Remember, mathematics precedes geometry. This is mathematic or geometry right here. So that says we should get to 155.67. Well, it's gone higher. So the only thing you can do is to see if it went 1.27 higher. So you just go in. You change this to make the CD leg 127. Bada bing, bada boom. And there it is. It says this is where we're going, which is 156.05. And there is your 1.618 expansion. That's where we're going. So let's just look at this as it starts to unfold. We come down to the 78% level. Here it stops at the 618 for half a day. This is a hourly chart, so about eight hours. Rallies up. Once we break down below it, it goes down to the 786. And there's where we're going to start our show here today. Well, start our show in the Japanese yen. As you look at this, you want to buy the first 382 retracement that you can get. So we'll be watching to see, and I don't think we made it, but we'll double check. From your high up to your low, we want to buy this. And here we miss it. We miss it by quite a bit. Uh, that comes in at one. Oh, it doesn't miss it by much. 123, 153.26 is the number, and the low was 153.24, and only misses it by eight pips. And then it has a big move up here, and that gives us the second 382, which would have come in right about there. That would come in there. It goes a little bit below it to the 50%. Remember, the stop's got to be below the 618. And then we have one more here that's just occurred here today because 
we've uh, made a little bit higher high, almost at the 618. Not quite. We're getting there. This is getting to be real interesting now. From their low here, we went right down to the 618. Now, here's where this is worth a fortune, folks. I hope you pay attention because, uh, well, what do I know? This, you see, that's the 382 of the last two days, okay? Now, if we break below this, that's going to be the first time that we've done this where it broke. Now, here it went to the 50%. So if it gets below this level right here, especially this level right here, if we get down just about another 40, 50 pips in the end, this tells us that this level has been made. Look how close it came to the exact 1.618, 156.23. The high was 156. 42. I mean, my goodness, that's that's pretty close, right on the money. So we get below that, that tells, uh-oh, something's changed, and that might mean that stocks might start to come down because this is risk on. That's what they do. They borrow money, and that's what we're watching. See what we're going to be seeing here is your ABCD forming here. On Uh-oh, got the wrong number in there. Hold on a second. There's your AB leg right here, right there. Is it draw it in so we can see it there. And it measures up to right there, spot on. I mean, my goodness, this thing's ready to turn down, folks. So we got 60 minutes here. Let's go to a smaller time frame like we always do. See what's happening today. All right, there's today's action. And we have the market come down. It makes a new low. It goes up, makes an A. Oh, you can see here, there's your A, B, C, D to the downside, A, B, C down to the upside, but look what we've got going now, folks. We've got lower highs in here. You know, there's your lower highs. Move that up a bit, and we'll see how closely they come. This should be 61% retracement of that high right over here. There's where we are. There it is. There's your 786 off of that high, and I thought it was 618. 786 right off that high, and now we've come down. We've made an ABCD to the downside. But we're making lower highs, folks. This is not a bullish pattern anymore. It's starting to get negative. So let's pay uh, close attention to that one as we go through. Now, uh, someone asked me to go over the uh, Treasury note uh, situation. So I will. I'll come up here and bring it up. Actually, when I saw it last night, I because I didn't realize that the notes had made a, it's up here a little bit higher, here are the treasury notes, and what we'll do is we'll get them up on the daily first. And I wanted to show you here that we did make a, a lower low here uh, at the, the exact number, 03. And then on the weekly chart, this is the one where I got really excited because we made a lower low here. That was the 78% level, okay? Now, remember, these, these contracts roll over, so there's a slight difference in their price because it's uh, you know it's an actual contract at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. But what was important about this is the fact that we have a perfect symmetry there. There's your first ABCD, there's your second ABCD. And on the upside, it was perfect symmetry. Remember, this was where the Fed came out and they dropped rates the first time. We were saying it didn't make any difference. 115.06 was where they were gonna top. The high was 115.21. And look how far we've come down. So now we're in an area where we should get a pretty good rally. And this rally should equal at last three. And it could be even bigger. We don't know. But and it might not even rally at all. But there's your first 382 up here. That would be equivalent to five points in the bonds. <coughs> Excuse me. And so that's what we're focusing on um, right at this point right now. All right. Let's get back up and see where we are with these markets here. Here's the Dow Jones. We'll see if it's still moving lower, which it is. So we'll just get our target here. This is just the last few days, okay? So we'll figure out what our target is by just looking at this. And we'll move it down here to this level right here. Because this market's going to be trading very, very actively like it has been. This is what was the hard part is when we had that election stuff coming up. But all of those gaps that were out there, folks, those those gaps are going to be filled. People are being naive to think that just because uh, one person gets in, all this stuff is going to change overnight. Not a chance in heck. Anyway, there's where it's going to go to 435, 40. That's down another 500 points. If we look at this on the four hour, four, 500 points on this is going to be hardly anything. But here's what you're watching. There's your low right here. There's your high that we made after the election. All right. 
tenth, and here's where we're going to come down to. The 382 comes in uh, right there. So five, there's your A, B, C, D. That's you're going to be your first spot to look at. Now, when it gets there, it probably it could probably have a pretty good rally. But if it doesn't, then it tells you that things are going to change. So watch this number, 435.50. That's what you want to be watching for because that's that is your A, B, C, D that we just looked at. We'll look at it on the hourly so you can see it even clearer. Move it over just a bit and get this out of here so you can see it. And first thing we're going to do is to draw the 382 in right here. There it is right here. Here comes your ABCD. Stay with us. We've got to make a commercial. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side and see what happens. There's where we are. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. <coughs> hey folks, I want to talk here about the uh, this uh, soybean trade that we've been waiting for. We've been short this, uh, well... There was your ABCD to the upside. There's your 382. It misses it by 
ninety dollars out of a contract that's worth thirty two thousand margin on this is very small only about twenty eight hundred but you can see here we do have this a b c d pattern coming down very very closely to where we are now we're only uh, four four dollars a day so today or tomorrow we'll probably be be getting there to it so you want to be buying it at uh, i'm going to give it a buck here but uh, buying it at the 1.618 is uh 281 okay and so we're going to buy it at uh I put it in there at 283. I want to be long, and uh, that that would be a. Uh, I hate to miss it. Forgot there. That's only three dollars away, but that's what I'd be watching. You have to risk about seven bucks here. Well, it's only five, two, six. Yeah, around seven dollars. So you can be a farmer and own soybeans, which is pure protein, folks. The soybean is crushed 80 percent into meal, and 20 percent into oil. And so be buying down here around 82, 83. I'm doing it 283, 20. And the stop is going to be 276.20. So you can be a farmer for quite a bit. Why that's interesting, folks, is if we look at this on the weekly chart. Oh, this weekly doesn't work very well because it's not the continuation. We'll try it just for kicks and giggles. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, go see here. There's where we back. We're lower now, folks, than we were four years ago. You know, you talk about inflation and stuff. So we're right down here, really close to where we want to be now. And that's what we're looking at on this daily here. That's the one that you, you trade from. You don't trade off a weekly. That's too much risk. So as you can see it looking at here, that's what we're waiting to see right there. That's uh, that's the big daddy rabbit in my opinion. You don't have to risk very much. There's your number. You get below that. <clears throat> that's actually stop is probably too much, but that's for five bucks. So it looks like it. see you on the flip side tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. 